This is Witchbase News for Friday the 6th of September 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week Community creativity peaks again with a canned Tharglet. A historical milestone for Elite lands later this month and there's a competition to bag yourself a free Mandalay. If you enjoy our videos consider subscribing to the channel and remember to ding the little bell to make sure you see all our content and community posts and if you'd like to help support the channel links to our Patreon and everything else are in the description below. We often speak on this show of the endless creativity that is displayed by the community surrounding Elite Dangerous that is all themed towards Elite Dangerous. There is so much of it that the celebration of that creativity can often get lost in its own noise. Worse still so numerous is it that it can be seen to become so commonplace that the imagination and effort involved in its creation is itself lost. The Elite Dangerous community churns out on a regular, monthly or even weekly basis a huge number of curated videos and live streams featuring the gameplay of the galaxy's premier space trader simulator let alone the regular created works of artists like Beetlejude, The High Wake or Tokoso to name but three and it still continues to inspire machinima such as that created by commanders Escorbius, Turgeon Starstone and Spatula 007 years after the games launch. You'll find everyone I've mentioned here linked in the video description below by the way but it's one other individual and in particular a project altogether more unique that I'd like to highlight for you today. I'm speaking specifically of Canon Interstellar's very own Commander LCU No Fall Like One who this week posted to Twitter a video clip of his latest creation in action. LCU is a regular creator in a number of disciplines around Elite Dangerous from software tools to videos to 3D printing. However this week LCU outdid himself with something that has to be seen and heard to be believed. The baby Thargoid or Tharglet in a can was created by soldering a tilt switch into the gutted remains of a normally infrared proximity triggered sound player. In normal operation the unit allows its user to upload their own sound files via USB but after being doctored by LCU and having had a Thargoid soundbite from the game uploaded to it when the unit is now tilted inside the customised can well you've seen and heard what happens. It was no easy job the fiddly soldering required to attach the tiny tilt switch being quite the task apparently but the results speak or should that be howl for themselves. Anyone who grew up in the 70s with a cow in a can mooing toy <laughs> will instantly recognise this fantastic 34th century twist on the familiar format. Absolute genius. For viewers of this broadcast who played and loved the original Elite and who are, let's be gentle here, at the upper end of the Elite Dangerous gaming demographic then I'd like you to prepare yourself for what possibly may be a small shock, a little jolt maybe. Ready? Here we go. On the 20th of September, just two weeks away as I speak these words, Elite as a franchise will be 40 years old. Yes, 40 years. The original Elite launched onto the BBC Model B microcomputer on the 20th of September 1984. <laughs> there are now more years between us and the launch of Elite than there was between the end of the second world war and the launch of Elite. 
The impact of Elite at the time of its launch is an oft regurgitated tale when it comes to the history of computer games in the UK alone let alone the world. There are whole documentaries on the internet about Elite that do a much better job than I can here of detailing why it made such an impact when it landed so we've linked to a couple in the video description if you're curious to learn more about it. I will say that unless you were a gamer and fully engaged in the early days of what was still a brand new technology at the time then it can be difficult to comprehend the cosmic shift that Elite caused. It may seem ridiculous now but at the time Elite was one of the first computer games ever conceived to use 3D wireframe graphics with hidden line removal and it was also one of the first computer games that was completely free roaming in nature and open ended. Your gameplay wasn't restricted by an arbitrary timer or a fixed number of available lives or levels and there was no high score to be achieved. All these concepts were largely revolutionary to the public consciousness when Elite arrived. I remember seeing Elite spoken about in magazine articles at the time and then finally seeing it running on a BBC B at a friends house before finally being able to own and play it myself on the much cheaper Sinclair Spectrum about a year later. I eventually moved on to play Frontier Elite 2 and Frontier First Encounters on the Amiga and eventually the PC respectively and of course I've enjoyed many other games and genres in the oh my god how many years since but my reference point for any game especially one that purported to be a space game in an open world always came back to Elite and for me nothing has ever really held a candle to how Elite makes you feel. And it's that indefinable canned feeling that the original managed to encapsulate that a lot of misty eyed commanders from that era will still talk about often endlessly to this day. We're hoping Frontier and the Elite Dangerous team some of whom are also misty eyed commanders from the mid 80s will mark the 40th anniversary in some fashion so keep an eye out for that but it's entirely possible that any larger more public celebration will be saved for the 10th anniversary of the launch of Elite Dangerous which lands in the calendar on the 16th of December. As we reported last week the next ship to enter the game is the medium sized exploration class vessel from Zorgon Peterson known as the Mandalay. Having been initially teased in an image around a month ago when it was finally shown off on the last Frontier Unlocked livestream albeit still in concept form I think it's fair to say that the ship caused quite a stir in the community. The Mandalay is due for release into the game alongside the next big update to the game Powerplay 2.0 which has been pushed back slightly from its original launch window of September to now land in October. As with the Python Mark II and the Type 8 early access to the Mandalay will be arcs fueled. However Frontier are offering the chance for 5 commanders to secure free early access to the ship when it launches via a screenshot competition running exclusively on the social media platforms Facebook and the artist formerly known as Twitter. In order to participate all you need to do is post your screenshot of an Elite Dangerous exploration location and include the name of the location with the screenshot. In the case of Twitter hashtag your entry with Elite Mandalay and on Facebook you need to just reply to the official Facebook thread for the competition which we've linked to below. The competition ends on the 12th of September so you have now just 6 days to enter as at the time of this recording. Give it a bash and come October you could bag yourself a free early access Mandalay. Not too flipping shabby. Did you own a cow in a can in the 70s? What are your earliest memories of the Elite franchise and have you entered the competition to win the Mandalay Explorer? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.